Hi guys, in today's video, we're going to, I'm going to show you how we can make a simple calculator in React.js. So in the previous video, we learned about how we can use hooks in React.js. But uh, today, we're gonna sh I'm going to show you how we can make a simple calculator. So I hope you learned about the hooks, how we can use that. If you haven't, then you can comment into the, and you can go and check out those videos and just let me know in the comment section what you have learned if you are getting in something error in your code so you can just ping me there and i will get back to you so i will definitely support you how you can use so right now we're gonna make a calculator so let's do this so now i'm just gonna make a simple ui for that so make a div and make some input boxes so input Define type, type equals to text and uh, another input box, input type equals to text and slash text. Okay, now we have created the two input boxes and just put a break between those two. So that's why they're going to be just like this do a separate lines and now we're gonna make a button on that click we got we'll get the result so submit okay and just put a break over here that's why we will get the submit button into another line okay so we have got our ready we have got ready for the simple calculator UI, we have input box one, input box two, and submit button. Now we will need to make operation buttons. So how to make it happen? Just create button, button, and this button will represent plus sign. Um, another button, button. This button will represent minus sign. Make another button and this button will represent star sign asterisk and this button okay sorry this should be in separate line button let's make easy to readable so we have got our buttons over here and so we have created our simple calculator now we're gonna make the states for this so how do I make this? Just use state, use state, and just make value a for this, and make sure you write everything into the camel case. That is very important. So value a will be zero in initial position. So make it zero, and use state value. Sorry, sorry value b uh, same thing with value b also oh sorry it should be in camel case over here not there and this is value b and i'm gonna put a zero in initial position okay and now we'll just create operation state where we're gonna store the sign of these buttons so let's make a state and uh, op operations like this and make it camel case and in the initial position what we're gonna type over here plus sign because whenever this is an initial condition it should be render the plus sign and you now operate that plus sign Puff. and uh, another state into that we're gonna store our result because result is very important so that's why we're gonna store our result over here and into the initial we're gonna put zero over here okay now let's make the calculator functions so what we're gonna do input type text and we're gonna assign the value over here and value will be value here for this and uh, we're gonna assign value equals to value b okay and submit button 
uh, we will make a handle for this handle submit button so we need to call a fun make a function over here just like this const handle submit handle submit okay and just i will make this arrow function and just make it on click on click it's gonna call this function handle submit handle submit okay so i hope we have our calculator ready but not so why it's showing us error because it's not oh sorry there's a mistake it's not a value it's lu so that's why so I think it's gonna make it perfect. Okay, what value B is not defined? Value B is not defined. Why? And let me refresh this. Oh yeah, now it's good. And now we need to set the state of input. How? On change, we're gonna set the state. So I'm gonna do that. Just make an arrow function and set value a equals to value and where this value element come from from this so it's going to return us e event and the structuring value from data in this format and same thing we're going to do into value p input is like this and you're gonna e comma value actually if you don't know about this what i'm writing destructuring value just like with with this parenthesis so it returns data key over here into this position first position is target position e event position where it returns e this callback function and at the second position it returns data data of this input box so from that data input box i'm returning value key from there so it's gonna return the value to me so value and value okay oh i misspelled this i need to write value b over here okay so whenever we will do changes into this value a field or value b field Okay, it's showing this value is not defined as it is not defined on change. Value A, value B, set value A, value B. Okay, everything is good. So it's making any problem to us. Oh, it's not gonna walk into this input box. So we need to do what we need to do. We need to remove this from here because this is not a library we are using so what we need to type over here e dot target dot value just like this and e dot target dot value okay now let's see if i'm changing anything into this you can see the text get changed I'm changing into this text get changed so what we need to do again now we need to set these operations on click off so how are we gonna do that we're gonna do just like this if on click on click we're gonna return it oh, sorry not just like like this we're gonna return in the callback function and set operation with plus icon just like this and on click this is simple as it is i can do but uh, you can make some different operations different code base you can write any way you type any way you understand but this is very simple that i'm make showing you guys so it's not the good process that you can write a code for your calculator you can make it better but i'm just making it simple to understand you guys so don't worry about that if you understand the thing properly then i'm gonna make it easier for you so 
on click and you need to do everything in each and every button set operations and here we're going to perform this okay now we have we have buttons ready we have operations button ready submit button ready on change input ready and now we can set the state of anything so now what we're gonna do we're gonna do handle submit button what submit button will do submit button will check what is available in your operations let me just type over here s3 tag again to show the result what will be the result over here result um, we will show i've already told you about this jsx that how we write into the html uh, the store variables into the html format so this is the parenthesis inside this parenthesis we can assign the result result okay so this is and now we're going to type handle submit okay how we can do that so when we click on handle submit it should check that what is right now assigned into your operation field so how are you going to do that you just need to click first what we're going to do we're going to do we're going to type if operations equals to plus shift plus then what it gonna do you're gonna perform the operation uh, sorry const uh, sorry i need to okay uh, it's gonna make perform operation set result equals to value a plus value b okay let me perform the action okay and uh, why this showing this error kumar we unexpected token where we have an expected token. okay no no issue because it takes time there's not webpack configurable into this so that's why it takes time to reload the page and make changes into the ui so operations double equals to minus and uh, set result equals to value a minus value b okay and if operations equals to star then it's going to perform set result value a star value b okay now if operations equals to Mm -hmm. set result and uh, value a value a divide by value b okay so now i think that uh, we have ready our calculator and let's do some operations so if i'm going to type over here one and i'm going to type over here two so let's submit this and you can see it's showing us one or two why it should show three over here but it should it is showing us one or two because it is reading this thing reading both or two numbers into the string format over here so what we need to do we need to write over here just like this parse float float gonna return us uh, uh, decimals value but if we do int it gonna return us integers value so just do this 
and percent and now again if you do the submit you can see it's presenting as three if we click on minus button and now we are if perform a section you can see it's returning as minus one if we pressing the asterisk button and you can see it will return as two if we are pressing the divide button and click submit you can see it returning as 0.5 make it for larger value and if we click on divide button you can see the answer of this half of this digit and if we click on a star it's gonna return us double of this digit and if you return minus it's gonna return us minus of you can see if it is here is four and it's coming over here two and now if we click on plus it's going to return a six so you can see we have ready a calculator and it's a very simple ui and format that you can make a simple calculator without using any type of hard code and any type of difficulty having any difficulty so it's very simple and i'm not doing anything so much uh, harder over here you can see the simple code over here that you can make it possible for yourself so i'm gonna push this code on my github profile and you can just download it from link in my github link given in the description and that's it from this video and thank you for watching and if you learn from this video you can just like share and subscribe the channel please and uh, help me a lot to make some more videos but for today that's all so let me show you again that if we type something over here and inside something over here you can submit you can make us plus if we click on minus you can say minus star star divide we can do one more change over here is that that we can show operation button whenever we are changing our operation we can show operation button over here let we can do how we can do that just do it between those inputs how just make a h1 tag and just show the operation operations and it's gonna render your operation sign over here make this h1 to h3 okay and it's gonna sign so use a sign what the operation you're gonna perform so you can see plus minus star and asterisk if you click on plus and you can see the result if you click on minus you can see the result if you click on a star you can see the result and if you will you can see there is so this was the simple calculator that you can use into your simple if you are in learning phase this is a better project that you can come and make this and try to build by your own i haven't did any hard into this and i haven't tried any complex code it is very lighter and easier to write but if you have learned so much so you can do something more into this so that's why thank you so much thank you so much guys for watching and tata bye bye